We are going to use CUDA Software Algebra 1 Solving Systems of Equations by Elimination Part 2. This is slightly different than Part 1 because we need to multiply both equations by a number to cause one set of coefficients to be opposite. Let's say I want to eliminate the x. So the common multiple of 7 and 4 is 28. So I choose to multiply the first equation by 4 and the second equation by negative 7. Negative because I want this to be positive 28, so that they are opposite. So I'm going to distribute the 4 to each term. That would give me negative 28x minus 32y equals 36. Distributing the negative 7, I will get 28x minus 63y equals positive 154. When we add these equations, the x's will cancel because they're opposites. Add these negative numbers, it became even more negative, negative 95y, and add these, well that's not a 6, it's a 4. If you add them, it's 190. Divide by negative 95 cancel y equals negative 2. Plugging negative 2 into y of the first equation, negative 7x minus 8, negative 2 equals 9, negative 7x plus 16 equals 9, subtract 16 from both sides, negative 7x equals negative 7, x equals 1. Present your answer, and there it is. So let's try number 19, and you can choose to eliminate either the x or the y. Let's choose y. They're already opposite, so I will multiply the first equation by 7 to get a 14, and second equation by 2 to 7 to get a 14. We want them to be opposites. Distribute. 7 times negative 4 is negative 28x. 7 times negative 2 is negative 14y equals 7 times 14 is, that would be 98. Distribute the, neg the 2 to get negative 20x plus 14y equals negative 50. Add them. The y's will eliminate because they're opposites. Add these. So negative 48x equals 98 minus 50 would be 48. Divide. x equals negative 1. Plug it back. Negative 4 times negative 1 minus 2y equals 14. 4 minus 2y equals 14. Subtract 4. Negative 2y equals 10. Divide. y equals negative 5. Present your answer. Negative 1, negative 5. Let's try number 21. Let's say we want to eliminate the x's. The common multiple of 5 and 3 is 15. So I will need to multiply the first equation by 3. And the second equation I will multiply by negative 5 so that they will become opposites. So distribute. That would give me 15x plus 12y equals negative 42. Distribute the negative 5. Get negative 15x, negative 30y equals negative 30. Add so that opposites cancel. That will give this will give me negative 18y equals negative 72. When you add two negatives, it got even more negative. Divide y equals positive 4. Plug it back in. 5x plus 4, plug in your 4, equals negative 14. 5x plus 16 equals negative 14. 
subtract 5x equals negative 30, divide x equals negative 6, present negative 6, 4. In number 23, it is not even in the right order. So we want to move the x and the y to the left side for the first equation so that they're in the same order as the rest of these problems. So I'm going to add the 20y and add the 7x to the left side. So I would have 20y plus 7x. I'm going to add the 14 to the right side. So the 20y and the 7x have moved to the left using opposite operation. Same with the 14. Now, we want to arrange them such that the x term is first. So I'm going to rewrite the 7x plus 20y equals 14. Now, rearranging the second equation, I'm going to subtract the 2x so that it's on the left side. So negative 2x plus the 10y. Let's go ahead and subtract the 4 to the right. So now they're in the right order and I am ready to eliminate. It looks like I can multiply the second equation by negative 2 to make the y's opposite. So if I distribute the negative 2, I would get positive 4x minus 20y equals 8. I'm going to copy that equation down here. 7x plus 20y equals 14. Adding them, the y's would eliminate 11x equals 22, divide by 11, x equals 2. Plug it back. I can plug into the first one. Negative 14 equals negative 20y minus 7 times 2. Negative 14 equals negative 20y minus 14 Add 14, 0 equals negative 20y, divide by negative 20, y equals 0. Present your answer to 0.